Have you ever looked at the number one player's all-time honey and thought, how did he get that much honey? What if I told you that this isn't even 1% of what's possible in the game? Beastworm Simulator is a game with many possibilities, and if you combine every buff and multiplier in the game and channel it all in one moment, what we become capable of is nothing short of brilliant. Today's question I want to ask is, what is the most pollen you can collect from one ability in Beastworm? Before we calculate just how much one ability can collect, we need to choose the ability we will be using. When we think of strong abilities, there's three that come to mind. First, we have Precise Beast Target Practice. It collects pollen three times, which gets a huge four times pollen multiplier when you have max flame heat, which already gives double red pollen. However, this ability just doesn't collect enough pollen to be worth choosing. The second ability we can choose is Vector Beast Triangulate. Every mark it goes over increases the pollen by 50%, while going over one doubles all the white pollen collected. This ability is by far one of the best in the game, but we can do even better. Introducing Digital Beast Smiley Token. It acts as a token link for dupe tokens, but it also collects pollen too. The reason this ability gets so strong is because the pollen collected by the ability is directly based off a of Digital Beast Gather Amount, which can be increased to the highest in the game using white drives, and pollen from beasts can easily become a strong stat. For these reasons, this ability is widely known as the best pollen collecting ability in the game, with one person getting two quadrillion honey from one by timing the demi decade code. Now that we have the ability chosen, we need to choose which color of pollen we will be collecting from. We have three choices here, red, white, and blue. White is by far the worst color for this, since Gummy Star only gives up to 2 times white pollen, and its tool only gives up to 1.1 times white pollen. Blue pollen is second, because Popstar gives 4.5 times blue pollen, and the Tide Popper gives 1.2 times blue pollen. But by far, the best color to choose for this experiment is red pollen. Scorching Star increases your red pollen by 5 times, Flame Heat doubles your red pollen, and the Dark Scythe raises your super crit power by 6 times. Already, this is a 60 times effective multiplier, so for the experiment, we will be using the Smiley ability for only red pollen. There's two things to go over before you can stack big numbers together. First off, I should explain how the calculations in this game are performed. At the start, you have the base stat, which is just that, the base. Then you have the enhancers, which either come in the form of percentages or multiplicatives. Percentages are added together, then multiplied onto the base stat. Multiplicatives can either be multiplied together, then multiplied with the final slash added product, or just be multiplied onto it to begin with. What this means is, a 20% increase in one stat will increase the pollen yield by less than 20%, but a 1.2 times increase in one stat will increase the pollen yield by exactly 20%. Lastly, I've set a few ground rules to this experiment. We will be using 15 B clips to help us instead of the standard 12, because 15 is technically possible as of right now, just not to everyone. We will not be using any codes or any buffs relevant to Beastmas, which includes Honey Day, Ornaments, Beastmas buffs, and technically Snowflakes. The reason for this is because this experiment will revolve around using the Robo Bear Challenge instead. We will assume we will get all the upgrades necessary for the maximum pollen yield, and we can assume that with at least 1% crit chance and 1% super crit chance, we will land a super crit on activating the ability. And because super crits come with 100% instant conversion, we don't have to worry about filling up our bag. Now that everything's out of the way, we can finally get into stacking everything together. We will be starting off with Digital Bee's Gather Amount. Digital Bee automatically has a base stat of 10 pollen on Gather, which can be increased by 125 with the maximum amount of white tries being applied. That's all for the base, but there's quite a few additives. Starting off with the base 100%, we can add the Master Sticker Stack Badge for 20%. We can't use the Grandmaster Badge since it isn't obtainable as of right now. The Sticker Stack itself gives 21%, and the Moody Amulet, a Gifted Music Bee, and the Botnet Upgrade on RBC each give 25%. Puppy Love gives 50% gather amount, and the Supreme Star Amy Link gets 70% gather amount. This brings the total additive bonus to 366%. Now we can move on to multipliers. As it turns out, the 30% gather mutation on Digital B multiplies into the Smiley token, so we can start with a 1.3 times multiplier. The Super Smoothie multiplies their gather amount by 1.4 times, the Mother Bear Morph 1.5 times, our Digital B being gifted 1.5 times, and we can use the bee gather voucher to double our current multipliers. If our bee is level 25, we get an extra 2.2 times gather amount, and getting 3 outsource upgrades gives us an extra 2.5 times gather amount. Unfortunately, we have to half our multipliers because the Smiley token only collects half of Digital B's gather amount. This brings our multiplicative bonus to about 22.5 times, and if we combine everything together, we can give our Digital B a gather amount of 10,216.2. Onto our pollen additives and multipliers. This is by far one of the largest parts of our puzzle, as the multiplier in the end reaches an extremely large number. Starting off with 100%, we can use the Supreme Ant and Shell Emuls to give us 5% pollen each, 
The Sacred Stack gives us 7.5% pollen. The Mondo and Posturum Blessings and having a Gifted Bear Bee gives us 10% pollen each. Both the Supreme Star Amulet and the Gummy Boost gives us 20% pollen each. The Demon Mask gives us 25% pollen. And both the Cloud Boost Plus and the Triple Perry Winkle Jelly Bean Buffs gives us 50% each for a total of 313% pollen. By far, this will be the longest list of multiplicatives, so I'll try to go over them as fast as I can from least to greatest. The Nullify upgrade at any level will enhance the total pollen yield by 20%, so we will sacrifice 20% of our pollen with a 0.8 times pollen multiplier for the greater good. The Sticker Stack gives 1.01 times pollen, Max Balloon Aura gives 1.2 times pollen, Gifted Basic Bee gives 1.2 times pollen, a Glitch Strike gives 1.25 times pollen, Beast Mischeer gives 1.5 times pollen, which is obtainable in the Robo Bear Challenge through a Festive Bee, 3 GPU upgrades gives 1.75 times pollen, Baby Love, Coconut Combo, and 3 different Bear Morphs all give double pollen, we can use a Quad Bear Morph with the Mother Bear Morph for 2.5 times pollen, both the Self Guiding Star and having 3 pollen marks down gives 2.5 times pollen, Getting 25 Optimized Upgrades gives us 3.5 times pollen, Fully Pollinated Flowers gives us 5 times pollen, 100 Iterate Upgrades gives us 6 times pollen, and finally, if we somehow get 50 stacks of Inspire, we can increase our pollen by 51 times. This brings our pollen multiplicatives to a whopping 10,222,159.5 times pollen. When we combine our 313% additive pollen, we get an outstanding 31,944,248 times pollen multiplier. Moving on to red pollen, we start off with our 100% base, then we can add 8% from the sticker stack, 10% from the jelly bean sharing bonus, and 10% from the red bomb sink ability. Here's where we can make an odd choice. If we swap out the coconut canister for the red porta hive, we can get an additional 10% red pollen, which isn't much but still adds up a bit. If we have the strawberry field grandmaster badge, we can gain an additional 25% red pollen, and the supreme cog and, and diamond stick bug amulets each give us 30% red pollen. The coconut combo, having 3 red jelly beans, and wearing the crimson guard each gives us 50% more red pollen, and the supreme star amulet can give us a final 70% red pollen for a total additive of 473%. There's also quite a few multipliers for red pollen, so I'll speedrun those too. Having a gifted rad bee in our hive gives us 1.1 times red pollen. Using a red drive in the brute force upgrade gives us 1.25 times red pollen each. Using the demon mask, having to respect white and blue upgrades each. Max invigorate nectar and max refreshing nectar all gives us 1.5 times red pollen. Using a super smoothie gives us 1.6 times red pollen. Max flame heat doubles a red pollen. 10 red boost stacks triples a red pollen. 10 upgrades of overfit red quadruples a red pollen. And a maxed out scorching star quintuples a pollen. This brings the red pollen multiplier to 2,505.9, which combined with our 473% red pollen gives us a total multiplier of 11,853 times red pollen. There are less buffs for all the other relevant stats, so we can go through those quicker. Critical Power starts off with a base of 200%, and we can add 15% from the sticker stack, 25% each from Tabby Blessing and having a gifted Looker Bee, the Supreme Ant Amulet and having a gifted Tabby Bee gives us 50% crit power each, and the Melody Ability, the Cobalt Guard, and the Grandmaster Battle Batch East gives us 100% critical power, bringing our total to 665%. There are only two multipliers for critical power. 10 stacks of Demarcate for 1.3 times critical power, and Nullify for 1.5 times critical power. This brings our multiplier to 1.95 times, and our total crit power multiplier to 12.96. Super crit power starts off with a base of 200%, which can be increased by 7% with the sticker stack, and 25% with the Supreme Cog Amulet for a total of 232%. The pseudo RNG upgrade multiplies the super crit power by 1.25 times, and having the maximum stacks of dark heat multiplies it by 6, for a total multiplier of 7.5 times, and a final multiplier of 17.4 times. There's something I forgot to explain earlier. What is the best field to use for this experiment? We have four options, mushroom, strawberry, rose fields, and the pepper patch. The strawberry field is the worst, only holding 12 duped ability tokens, despite being boosted by the king beetle amulet by 100%. By the way, the more dupe tokens on the field, the more pull on the smiley token collects. Rose is third for holding 15 duped ability tokens and having to be equipped to help with giving it 40% extra pollen. Mushroom is second for both holding 15 duped ability tokens and being boosted by the King Beetle Amulet by 100%. Pepper Patch is the best field to use for this experiment, but why? After all, it only gets 12 duped ability tokens and doesn't have an amulet to boost its pollen. First off, the Sandfall Lip Balm increases the field's pollen by 1.08 times at max, which is a multiplicative, but not enough to justify using the field. Well, it's because of the Robo Bear upgrades for the fields. For the Mushroom and Rose fields, their pollen can only be increased by up to 3.5 times, and the Strawberry field 4 times. 
However, the Wi-Fi upgrade, which boosts Pepper Patch Pollen, scales up to 6 times. Now that we have the field figured out, we can apply the buffs we need on the field. Starting off with a base of 100%, we can apply our 4 field boost stacks for 400% and 15 field wind stacks for 67%. Lastly, the sticker stack increases the pollen by 10% for a total of 577% pepper patch pollen, and with 10 Wi-Fi upgrades being the only multiplier of 6 times pepper patch pollen, we can immediately pull these numbers together for a total pepper patch multiplier of 34.62 times pepper patch pollen. After the field pollen, we move on to more niche multipliers, which aren't boosted by a whole lot, but still have a big impact on our final number. Starting off with the Vempi Pollen at a base stat of 100%, the sticker stat gives us 8%, and as it turns out, it is much better to use a Vempi Pollen to set a bee gather amount on the Supreme Cog Amulet, so we can add 20% from the Amulet for 120% of Vempi Pollen. The only multiplier for a Vempi Pollen is a subscribe upgrade, which gives 1.1 times of Vempi Pollen for a final multiplier of about 1.4 times of Vempi Pollen. Next is Bee Ability Pollen. Starting off with the same base of 100%, the sticker stack gives half a percent of Bee Ability Pollen, and a Gifted Shy Bee gives us 5% for a total added bonus of 105.5% Bee Ability Pollen. Refractor being the only multiplier for Bee Ability Pollen doubles it, giving us a total of 2.11 times Bee Ability Pollen. Moving on to Gifted Bee Pollen, we can get 2.5% from the sticker stack and 5% from using a Gifted Lion Bee and the Grandmaster Mountaintop Badge. Adding this to the 100% base stack gives us 112.5%, and multiplying it by 1.1 times from the Coconut Belt, the only multiplier for the stat, results in a final multiplier of about 1.23 times Gifted Bee Pollen. Duped Ability Pollen has 3 stat modifiers. We can add 3% onto the base 100% from the sticker stack, double it from the Corrupt upgrade, and triple it from having max corruption on the field for a total of 6.18 times Duped Ability Pollen. Lastly, there are three different multipliers that don't really fit into any category. You can double your pollen by collecting from already stamped flowers, which is really hard to do, but let's say for this experiment you just so happen to line it up. Secondly, with Pepper Patch's 12 duped ability token cap, we can remove the 1 for the smiley token and increase our pollen by 550%, or 6.5 times multiplier, since it's a standalone additive. Lastly, the AND formation collects from 29 flowers more than any other form, meaning we can multiply everything by a total of 377 times. With all 11 multipliers ready, we can finally reveal the highest amount of pollen you can gather from a single ability. With all of these multipliers, we get a total amount of 258 sextillion, 825 quintillion, 107 quadrillion, 809 trillion, 190 billion pollen. This is much, MUCH larger than what the number one player has gotten in Honey during his playtime. But yet, something doesn't feel right. It feels like I forgot something. B Quips. B Quips make a very big difference in the experiment, and you're about to see why. Before we do, we need to look for the top 15 B Quips to use. The sweatband is the most obvious one, and after testing how all the stats interact with each other, the best one to use is a 60% white gather amount sweatband. For the other 14 B Equips, the best ones to use are as follows. A Kazoo for crit power and super crit power, the Demon Talisman, the Whistle, and the Pink Shades for super crit power, the two Paper Angels, two Toy Horns, two Toy Drums, and a Bee Lizard for Bee Ability Pollen, a Sand for Lip Balm for Pepper Patch Pollen, and two Poinsettias for both Red Pollen and Bee Gather Pollen. After recalculating all the stats after applying the max stat B Equips, we get 12,101 Gather Amount, 31,944,248.4 times Pollen, 13,131.1 times red pollen, 13.1 times critical power, 22.2 times super crit power, 37.3 times pepper patch pollen, 1.4 times event bee pollen, 2.9 times bee ability pollen, 1.2 times gifted bee pollen, 6.18 times duped ability pollen, and 603.2 times pollen from other multipliers, such as the sweatbands gather amount. And with all these multipliers, we can finally reach the highest amount of pollen we can collect in a single ability. The true pollen yield is 1 septillion, 59 sextillion, 9 quintillion, 460 quadrillion, 304 trillion, 520 billion pollen. This is over a million times more than the number one player's total honey, and more than every player's total honey combined, all gathered in one ability. This is Bee Swarm brought to its absolute limits. Granted, you're not collecting over 1 septillion pollen in one ability, as this is just a cool set of theoretical calculations to see what's possible in the game, and I think deserves its own leaderboard category. But no player is 100% optimized. Let this video serve as a lesson to you. Every stat matters. If you too are willing to optimize your stats and line up multiple abilities and buffs, you can do more in Beast Swarm than you can imagine. That's all I have for today's video. If you liked what you saw, you should subscribe and check out more of my other content as I've made videos similar to this in the past. With that being said, 
I'll see you around.